morning, everyone. It is Monday, March 29th, and it is time for daily devotion. Um, we only have a few more days of Lent, Lent left. It's harder to say than I thought. So I only have a few more days to tell you what joys I had. Um, I know it sounds a little repetitive, but unfortunately, it really is what brings me joy. Um, my kids were on spring break last weekend, so uh, after work on Thursday, we went to Orlando um, to spend a couple of days. Don't worry, wore masks, social distanced, ate outside, all took all precautions. But um, man, we had a good time. Uh, it was just awesome to be with my family outside, uh, hung out with both kids, uh, hung out with Stephanie, and, and I just had so much fun with my family, and, and that brought me more joy than I can even express. Uh, so on to daily devotion today. So for the next couple days, uh, we are in Holy Week. Uh, I'm excited. I love Holy Week. Um, it is one of the, I mean, it is just such a full week with so much going on and so much meaning in pretty much every day. So I thought I would um, share with you some of the scripture readings um, this week that are between Palm Sunday and Good Friday. So we got like, or Monday, Thursday. So in the next three days, we're going to read some of the teachings and, and all that Jesus had during Holy Week. I'm going to start off today uh, by Matthew 21, verses 28 through 31. Um, and it's because this text uh, has a lot of relevance right now. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. And he answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, the Pharisees answered. Um, I find this a very relevant text today. Uh, we have, well, not just today, I mean, in our, in our time, um, there are a lot of people uh, who are professing uh, Jesus right now. Um, they say, oh, we're going to do God's will, and then they support racist and homophobic uh, laws, um, they spout lies and untruths, they say, look at me, we're good Christians, and then not a single part of their actions follow it. Um, unfortunately, these are the people who claim Christ and tend to be on the news. We hear all of these ministers who are out being in the spotlight saying, look at how great a Christians we are. And then they wind up, you know, being, uh, you know, getting accused of just awful acts and then supporting people who do awful, awful acts. Um, to me, that's the second son. That is the embodiment of the second son. People who claim Jesus Christ and then have, nothing to do with Jesus. It's a lot like Palm Sunday yesterday where people were cheering for Jesus, but then just a few days later, they were the same people yelling, crucify him. Um, it, it troubles me. And then we have a lot of people who are out there serving Jesus every day. They are feeding the hungry. They are, uh, you know, they are helping the poor. They are giving shelter to the homeless. The exact things Jesus told us to do. And they aren't professing. They, their, their actions are showing that they have faith. And then if you ask them, are you a follower of Jesus? They're going to say yes. But they're not saying, look at me, I'm a Christian. And so 
in many ways, they are that first son who, when the father says, are you going to do my work? They're like, nah. And then they go out and they do it. And it becomes part of their lives. And it becomes part of who they are. Um, but we don't look at them. We tend to look at the loudmouth ones who say they're going to do all these great things and that they are so, they say they're great, such great people and their actions show none of it. Ideally, we'd be the third son who says, yes, Dad, I'm going to go do your work, and then go and, goes and, and does it. Definitely not the fourth son who would say, no, I'm not going to do it, and then still just sat around playing video games. But, you know, ideally... We're going to confess Jesus Christ. We're going to say we are a follower of Jesus. And then we're going to go and we're going to love our neighbor as ourselves. We're going to love the people God created more than ourselves. We're going to put ourselves, uh, make ourselves last so others can be first. Again, Jesus' teachings. Um, but if it comes down to it, I would much rather people be the first son who don't necessarily draw attention to themselves, don't, you know, wear I'm a Christian on their t-shirt, but who are going out and living their faith. That's what we're called to do. We are called to live our faith, and we have to do it. We have to love others. We have to feed the hungry. We have to clothe the naked. We have to do all those things. We are supposed to be the ones who look out for the little guy, for the oppressed, for the ones that are hurt, not for the powerful and the rich. And again, Jesus' teachings, not mine. And we can do it. You know, I'm not going to tell us to be the second, uh, the first son because I really think we should claim Jesus. But it's always better to be the first one than the second one where we say how wonderful of Christians we are and then our lives don't show it at all. And the problem is those people are the ones that are in the news. They're the ones who are getting the publicity. They're the ones running for office and winning, um, at least in some places. And it gives all of Christianity a bad name. People are leaving the faith or not coming to the faith because they see people who claim they are Christians, but then whose whole lives and whole personas don't show Jesus at all. So let's be the ones who actually show our faith, who live our faith, who become our faith. Let's pray. Holy Lord, we see two sons. Both are flawed. The first says no to their father, but then goes and does it. The second says yes to their father and then goes and does nothing. If those two choices, Lord, help us be the one who acts, not the one who talks. But even more, Lord, help us to be the other son that we don't read about that says, yes, Dad, I'm going to go do your will, and then goes and does it. Help us to be that one, to where people see that we are doing and loving and caring because of you, and that we can bring more people in to loving and caring and being your followers. Amen.